Back to the Avs. It was just eight days ago when Avs forward Nazem Kadri and his wife received racist threats via Twitter. After that collision he had with Blues goalie Jordan Bennington, where Bennington sustained a lower body injury. Threats with comments like, you Muslim son of a B-word. Kadri handled the situation like a pro, though. He said it was for sure a big deal, but made it a point that he wasn't acting like it was. He then went out and scored a hat trick to bury the Blues in Game 4, which made it so much sweeter to put those haters to shame. These games, the big moments, and special players with their own stories are a way for us to get away from the world's problems and our struggles as human beings. Why is it that an athlete's skin color or religion needs to be brought up when they struggle or have a moment in a game like Kadri did? In my opinion, yes, it is fair to at least bring up Kadri's history and question the play, but leave that for a sports debate. His religion and the way he lives life have nothing to do with that. Sports, like music, is something that brings people together, and we need sports more than ever right now. There are mass shootings, systemic racism, and wars in Eastern Europe. All of it is scary, so let's let sports heal us. Don't let it divide us like everything else. All right, that'll do it for Overtime this week. You can follow me on social media at Jacob R. Toby. Make sure to give 9 News Sports a follow as well. And 9 News returns right after this.